Hello, this is a short tutorial on how to write a package in Mathematica. So a package is a piece of code that you're going to use regularly in your work. Typically that's going to be some function that you use all the time, such as finding a percent error between two values. So let's talk about how you code the package. So here's, uh, I'm gonna, we're going to show you a standard code for a package. For this particular example, we're going to find a percent error between two numbers. Some calculated value, which is your answer, uh, the calculated value, and some experimental value, the known value. So you might know this as your answer as compared to a theoretical value. I'm going to call the package and the function PE, which is short for uh, percent error, obviously. So I want to start here with a little bit of documentation, so I'm going to use the parentheses asterisk notation here to put a little documentation here. I want the name of the file, I want my name, and I want the date so that I have good documentation. So now we're actually going to start coding the package. Notice when I start with the word begin, there's a begin package option, okay, and <clears throat> I'm going to want that to be uh, in quotes, I'm going to put the name of my package, which is PE. Now I want a little accent mark, which is the little backwards single quote. It's on the top left of the keyboard under the tilde. Uh, and those are easy to forget, so you got to remember to put those in. Close quotes, close square bracket. I'm going to put a little space in here just to make this thing a little bit more readable. Now I want to put my documentation in here. So I'm going to put PE, colon, colon, usage. Um, and I'm going to say equal. Now, in quotes, I'm going to put uh, my documentation. So I'm going to say, if I do PEAB finds the percent error for two values A and B. So what I'm just doing is putting in my documentation. Okay. Now I'm going to start what's called a, a private section. Okay. And I'm going to want a quote another one of those back accent signs the word private another back accent a double quote and a close parentheses okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna type in my function and this would be done just the same way that I would do this if I were doing this directly in Mathematica so a standard function form so PE my two uh, inputs are, are A and B they need to be underscored underscored colon equal I'm going to use number form because I want to <clears throat> control how many decimal points. I'm going to use an N because I want this to be a numerical result. Okay. I'm going to take the absolute value of, of subtracting two values, A minus B. Okay, so I'm taking the absolute value of that, all divided by B. So that's experimental minus theoretical divided by theoretical. I'm going to multiply all of that by 100 to get a percentage. I'm going to close uh, uh, the uh, N numerical part, and I want this to be to three decimal places. You can put a semicolon there if you want. You don't have to, but you can. Okay, so this is exactly what you would code in Mathematica if you were building the function directly in Mathematica. Okay, and now I'm going to I'm going to end the private section. I'm going to end the package. Okay and that's all there is to it. If I have a different function that I want to use, I can just copy this template, change the name of the function here, change the date, change the name of the function here, change the function here, put a different description of what it does in here, put my new function all in here, and that's all there is to it. Okay. What I want to do now is I want to evaluate the whole notebook. Okay, so I've evaluated the whole notebook and I can ignore all the output stuff down here. What I want to do now is I want to go do a save as, okay, and I'm going to give it the name. The name of the function is, is PE. I'm going to put mine on my desktop so I know where it is. And under format, I want to save it as a Wolfram language package. A Wolfram language package. And then I'm going to hit the save button. Okay. Uh, at this point, I'm sort of all done with this. I could close it, but I'll leave it open for the minute. So now that this package has been written and evaluated and saved as a package, I'm going to go up under Palettes, come down to Install Palette, 
Okay. And you see some options here. Obviously, we want a package. The source of that package is going to be from a file. It's going to tell me to go find that file, so I'm going to go find it. There it is right there, PE. Uh, uh, it's a Wolfram language package. I'm going to open that and I'm simply going to say OK install. Okay, So now that package has been written, it's been evaluated, it's been saved as a Wolfram language package, and it's been installed permanently as a package. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close this right here. I can save it if I want. Okay, I'm going to go do a new file here. Okay, So now I'm going to test it to see if it works. Okay, I'm going to give me a number here, experimental result. Okay, suppose I got a value of 10 for my experimental result. Okay, my theoretical result. Okay, maybe that's a 12. Okay, so that's my actual data. So now I'm just going to do PE and I want my experimental result and I want my theoretical result. And there we go. So the experimental, the percent error is 16.7. So from this point on, you never have to code a percent error again. You just have to remember that you have a permanent function built in called, uh, uh, called PE. And you should also know that there, where this thing went, there's what's called the user base directory. So if I evaluate that, Notice that mine is slash user slash got wall slash library slash Mathematica. And if I were to go to um, my terminal on, on, a, on a Mac, I can go CD slash, this is for you Unix folks up there, over there, okay, users slash got wall slash library slash Mathematica. Okay, and if I do an LS there, notice you have something. This is where all your Mathematica uh, uh, code is that runs Mathematica. If I go to Applications and do an LS, what you should see here, there's my code PE uh, dot Wolfram language. Okay, if I show you what that looks like, okay, so that's actually what got coded in and is permanently stored in the applications directory for my Mathematica library. Okay, I hope this helps and I encourage you to take advantage of packages. They will save you a lot of time, especially for things like a percent error that you're doing all the time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.